All right, future CPA. So we're digging deep into Roger's CPA review today. So I'm going to show you the ins and outs of this program, how it works on every single device that you have, how to take notes while studying for the CPA exam, and a whole bunch of other insider tips and tricks that I share with my uh, mentees in my premium course, Ultimate CPA Exam Guide. So without further ado, let's dive into the Roger's CPA review Elite Unlimited Package. My name is Brian Kessler, and I help smart accountants pass the CPA exam no matter how busy they are. My ultimate goal is to get you from stressed to performing at your best, no matter what CPA review course you're using. Welcome to Ultimate CPA Exam Guide. All right, future CPA. So if you don't know who I am by now, my name is Brian Kessler, and I am a CPA exam mentor and the founder of Ultimate CPA Exam Guide. So I've helped hundreds of CPA candidates pass the CPA exam using every possible CPA review course that you could imagine. So I have a lot of insight into what makes a good CPA review course, what actually helps CPA candidates pass, and I'd love to personally help you pass the CPA exam. So in order to do that, I need to teach you how to use Roger CPA Review, what I like, what I don't like, and um, just if I think this program is for you. So let's dive in. All right, so before we uh, dive into the actual platform itself, here is basically a summary of what's included with Roger CPA Review. So today we'll be looking at the Elite Unlimited. So it comes with unlimited course um, access until you pass. Uh, they do have a premier bundle, um, but it is only 18 months uh, course duration with the option to extend if necessary. I was burned by a CPA review course when I was sitting for the CPA exam, so I prefer unlimited course duration until you pass just because you don't know what's going to happen in your life. Things can happen and you have to put the CPA exam on the back burner and so forth. And the next thing you know, you don't have a CPA review course and you have to start all over. So that's not what I want for you. And that's why I recommend the Elite Unlimited. Now, obviously the price is a little bit higher if you don't have a discount. And in the video description and the comment section, I do have an exclusive discount for you if you're interested and would like to support my channel. So I do keep this place uh, ad free. So it's how I get uh, basically support this channel, support my mentorship program by uh, partnering with all the different CPA review course companies. So if you don't want to help my channel, then please don't click the links below this video and just go to Google and do your own research. All right, so with that out of the way, so both pro packages here, they both include the 6,000 plus multiple choice questions, 100 plus uh, micro video lectures. They both utilize the smart path predictive technology. Digital flashcards are now included, the e-textbook, and a fully featured mobile app that allows you to study on nearly any device that you probably own. Uh, now, the Elite Unlimited does include some exclusive uh, resources here. So the four-part cram course is something I'm a big fan of, some additional flashcards, and then the printed textbooks as well. So um, yeah, the Elite Unlimited is by far my favorite package just because it truly does give you all the resources that you need to understand the AICPA blueprints and ultimately pass the CPA exam. Um, so the platform itself, let's dive in. All right, so as I said before, you can access this on your desktop. I've got it pulled up here on my iPad and then also on your mobile device. So I can pull up the app here. So all of these are in sync, so everything stays together. Basically the, the test bank, the lectures, um, help and support, it's all located on your mobile devices, but also on your computer as well. So. Um, basically, once you are in the platform itself, you'll probably want to start on your computer just because there are a few resources. So the study resource tab, this is unique to the computer. The study hub is also unique. So let's start with the study planner. So basically, this is just a spreadsheet that you can download. So say you want to follow the nine month plan or the 12 month plan, you'll download a spreadsheet. It will tell you by day what section or what uh, video lectures to be watching and so forth. And, to basically help you pace um, how you study and to let you know if you're ahead or behind. Um, some CPA review courses, they provide a more uh, automated experience um, with the study planner because sometimes, you know, life gets in the way, you get behind and so forth. So it would be nice if Roger could provide something a little bit better than just a spreadsheet, but it gets the job done. Um, let's see here. So in terms of support, so the next thing you need to understand with a CPA review course is you want to be able to get support for any questions that you have. So when you're going through a, a test bank, you're going to have questions and you don't have time to just sit there and spin your wheels. 
So what Roger has done is, and I should note that Roger was recently purchased by UWorld, which is an online education company. So their course, uh, their platform might look a little bit different just because they're rapidly changing how things look in um, this platform. So between when I record this and when you're watching, there might be a few changes. But for right now, the study hub is their forum. So basically you can go in here and then type um, any question that you might have and it'll search the forum for keywords that have already been answered. Um, so at this time, at the time of recording, there is not a way for you to post new questions in the study hub, but I believe this is something that they might be changing in the future. But don't quote me on that just yet, um, just because things are changing rapidly within this company. Um, but basically there's already a wealth of information in here from questions that have already been asked uh, and answered. So uh, let's see here, in terms of actual customized support, there's obviously a contact tab here where you can email anyone on the team um, and also be sharing how the support works within the test bank itself, which is probably where you'll be using the majority of the support. All right, so let's actually dive in on um, my iPad here. So this is um, something that I find so cool is that you can truly study anywhere. So. Uh, the, the lectures, you can download them. So all you have to do here, so um, I've, I'm in the full course lectures tab. So how Roger cor uh, sets things up is it's by chapter. And then by chapter, there are subunits within each chapter. And so say you know you're going to be away from uh, the uh, internet for a while or Wi-Fi or whatnot. You can just hit the little cloud button and it will download the full lecture and then you can access it offline. So obviously I don't have a data package on my iPad, so this would be the best route that I would take if I was going somewhere and studying on the go, like on the train or um, on my commute or whatever, wherever it is that you might be studying. So, Welcome back. Now that that's Roger Phillip of Roger CPA Review and he does all of the lectures here at Roger CPA Review. And just within that few seconds, you could probably tell already that this guy has a lot of energy. So what I love about Roger CPA Review and something that I personally struggle with is whenever I'm watching a video lecture and the person is very dry and they're also talking about a very dry subject, I tune things out and I just lose focus. So with Roger, he doesn't let you do that. So he keeps you engaged. He's very high energy. I have no idea how much caffeine this guy <laughs> drinks every day, but it's probably just built into his DNA to be this excited about accounting. So if you're somebody who is, you know, struggles with that, but you learned really well from a classroom setting, Roger CPA Review is hands down probably the best course for you. Um, so what I also like is that you can use closed captions. So for me personally, I prefer reading. Um, I, I'm, something about watching videos, things don't stick unless I can actually read the words. So they have closed captions for all their videos. You can also speed up the videos or slow them down. So that's also a really good option as well. So, you know, Roger already speaks pretty quickly, but when I'm listening to a podcast or audio book or something like that, I do typically speed it up just a little bit because it does save a little bit of extra time and I can still grasp what's being said. Um, so in terms of functionality, so you've got the video, you've got the uh, subunit from the textbook um, digitally here on the side. Um, so then you can take notes digitally. And again, this is a really powerful feature because you can take a note and then it will become searchable and part of the database. So as you're taking important notes, you need to be able to find these notes very quickly. So um, this is one way to do it just by uh, taking it manually. Now, if you're on an iPad, that's probably not the most efficient way to do it because it's kind of difficult typing on the keypad. Um, if you're on a computer or a laptop, then it probably, that's a very efficient way to do it. But personally, if you've got an iPad with one of these little Apple pencils, which I just love, um, you can actually use an app like Notability and just pull up a new note and then just start you know, writing your notes here. Um, so what this enables you to do is to one, save paper, <laughs> you know, uh, there you're, when you're studying for the CV exam, you're going to either take a lot of notes out of a notepad, or you can utilize the digital resources that are available. And the problem with physical notes is that it's very hard to find the information that you need. So when you need to find something within three or four seconds, that's probably not going to be ha happening if you have a notepad and you're not super, super organized. So I'm not somebody who's very organized, but when you use an app like Notability on your iPad, everything is searchable. So you can 
basically literally this note will be then converted to a PDF, which goes up to my computer, which I can then open up. I can merge all my PDFs together and make it one long searchable document. So if there's a keyword that I'm struggling with, I can literally just search the PDF and it will pop up almost instantly as opposed to thumbing through a notepad that I have no idea where that note is. So um, when you're watching lectures, when you're reading the textbook, note taking is crucial and you don't want to be wasting your time trying to find information after the fact. So be very smart in the way that you um, are uh, taking notes on this material. All right. So after you've watched the video lecture, the next thing you'll want to do is obviously quiz yourself, see how you did. Now, something that um, is a little bit frustrating with Roger, and let me transition back to the computer so I can show it to you a little bit better. Um, some, something that I'm trying to work with this, their team on and improving is that when you take a practice quiz, you can't isolate it down to the subunit level. So if you remember, they had the primary chapter and then within each chapter there were subunits. So when you're setting up a practice quiz at the time of this recording, you're not able to create a quiz over say, you know, audit chapter 1.01 and 1.05. So you can only take a practice quiz over all subunits at this moment. Now it's not a deal breaker. It's a little bit frustrating, but there is a workaround that I want to show you. So when you're creating the quiz, um, you can, oh, um, I also want to note um, when you're in the learning phase, you'll definitely want to use tutor because that allows you to make a selection and then immediately show the answer. Um, but when you're truly testing yourself, you'll wanna turn that off. Um, and then you can also time it um, as well. Uh, there's multiple choice and TBS. Um, let's see here, and then you can set the number of questions you want to test yourself on. So when you generate the test. Okay. All right, so now this dashboard is very similar to what you'll see on the real exam. So they've really done a great job of emulating that process, but they added a few features. So the first one is obviously feedback. So as you have questions over um, questions that you're taking, say something doesn't make sense and you don't wanna sit there and spin your wheels, you can just take the question ID, pop it into the feedback, and then ask your question, click submit, and then it goes off to one of the CPA experts on Roger's team, which is great. So once you've done that, then you basically just wait for a response. And then once you get the response, what you can do is create a note. So I would recommend posting your question um, that you sent to Roger um, here in the notes. So you, know, you can type in question I sent, dot, 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 whatever it was. And then the response, you can literally just copy and paste the response in. And then that's always going to be in your note database so that you can search it for later, um, so which is really cool. Uh, and then in addition, once you have answered the um, question, so I got it wrong. In addition, and this is where the workaround comes in for uh, the subunit issue. So basically Roger has done an excellent job of one, providing a very detailed explanation for why a question is right or wrong. Um, and again, when you're studying for the CPA exam, you don't want the, a common misconception that I see a lot of, menti of my mentees making is that they're like, oh, I've, I've done a hundred multiple choice questions every single day and I just, the, the information doesn't stick. And then I'm like, dig a little bit deeper. I'm like, okay, so what are you doing after you answer a question? And they're like, oh, well, I just kind of read the explanation and then leave it at that and then move on to the next question because I'm trying to answer as many questions as I can but that's not how you pass a CPA exam. The true learning happens after you've answered a question and you start digging into the explanation. So people forget that when they get a question right, they forget to look at the explanation or they're too lazy or they just don't think about it. So I argue that you need to, regardless of whether you got the question right or wrong, look at the explanation because this is where the true learning happens. And what's cool is that you can now create your own flashcards by question. So when there is something in this explanation that you're like, oh man, I, I really don't want to forget that. All you have to do is select it, add the flashcard, and then um, you know either make it the front or the back. Um, and then you can put the keyword or whatever it is you want to remember. And then you're good to go. And then now you have a flashcard that's saved over this specific thing that you really want to remember. So they make it extremely efficient to not only remember specific things, but then also to reference the subunit. 
So odd 1.06. So you click that link, pulls up the video lecture and the text, which is exactly what you need to do to do additional research. So while you can't create a practice quiz over, you know, only odd 1.06, you can still look at the analysis after you sit for a practice exam and then focus in on um, the areas that you are seem to be struggling with as well. So um, it is a little bit of additional work, but again, they do a great job of connecting each question to the exact subunit, which some CPA review courses don't do, and it's extremely frustrating. So again, no CPA review course is perfect in my opinion. Uh, this is just one of the little workarounds that you have to build into um, your expectations if you do decide to use Rogers CPA Review. And again, it's not the end of the world not being able to take a practice quiz over odd 1.06. And I'll show you the analytics here in a moment that will um, also help you out. Okay, so then uh, let's see here. Let's and oh, and I should mention as well. So if you're coming across questions, um, I don't recommend just sending one off a million one-off feedback re feedback responses to Roger's support team. That gets overwhelming, impossible to track. So when you come across a question that doesn't make sense, go ahead, mark it for later. So that way you can batch all your questions at the end of the week. So that's what I recommend to my mentees in Ultimate CPA Exam Guide is that you don't wanna overwhelm the support team. Mark each question that you have a question on and then once a week, batch all your questions together, send them over to Roger's team and then that way they're, um, one, it's efficient, it's keeping everything in one thread, and then you get one big response that you can then um, go in and make notes for and so forth. So uh, really cool and powerful feature to be able to uh, market. Um, all right, so we've answered a couple questions here, submit testlet. Okay, so then uh, basically I got one question wrong and I marked it, one question right. So then when you're reviewing, Obviously, I try to recommend that you look at every single question, but it just, again, it depends how much time you have, but they make it very simple to do. So basically, as you're going through, you can uh, click on view and it will pull up, oops, pull up the explanation. And again, you can look at the references and so forth. So um, it just takes a little bit of time to dig deeper, but again, that's where the real learning happens um, when you answer questions and then do the additional research afterwards. Okay, all right, so now that you've started watching video lectures, now that you've started taking practice quizzes, let's head back to the iPad here. And I would show you my phone, but again, it's, it's a smaller screen, so it's a little bit more difficult. So once you start having some additional, some data put into the system, then you're going to start to want, starting, start to want to look at what's called the smart path. So Roger set up the smart path as a way for you to basically gauge how prepared you are for the CPA exam. So what they've done is obviously they have a massive database of students who have passed the CPA exam and who have failed. They know what questions you've gotten right, which questions you've gotten wrong. And so what they've done is isolated the successful students, what questions they've looked at and answered correctly, and then made a target goal for you. So then they'll compare what successful CPA candidates do versus what uh, your current results are. And then they'll allow you to, basically you'll uh, be motivated to hit your target percentage. And once you've hit your target, then hypothetically you're ready to sit for the CPA exam and pass it. Um, so the, you know, one, it's great because it will, you know, by chapter, you'll know where you're struggling, where to spend your time and overall, um, it's a good uh, measure of how ready you are for the CPA exam. Now, the danger of technology like this, and it, Roger is not unique, the majority of CPA review courses, they, they utilize something very similar, is that instead of focusing on digging into understanding why you got a question right or wrong, people end up focusing on just hitting that target. So they're going to fly through all the multiple choice questions, just being like, all right, I got to get this one right, this one right, this one right. And, and they, they, you know, they miss the most important thing, which is to actually learn from your mistakes, learn from um, what digging into the explanation. So my plea with you, and this is what I teach all of my mentees in Ultimate CPA Exam Guide, is that you need to focus on, yes, hitting the target, but doing it for the right reason, which is to actually truly understand why the question is right or wrong. Because again, um, 
all of this information that Roger is throwing at you is coming from the same source material. So regardless of what CPA review course you use, the, the, all the CPA review course companies get the same information from the AICPA, whether it's from the blueprints or from the release questions. So the questions that you see on the real CPA exam are probably gonna be questions that were not in Roger's course because AICPA, they hold them very close to the chest. So if you're focusing only on getting questions right and you end up memorizing things instead of truly understanding them, you're not going to be able to dynamically apply the knowledge and the information that you've learned from the AICPA blueprints to the unique questions that you're seeing on the real CPA exam. So while it's great to have a target to hit, if you don't truly understand the material and you get a weird simulation of that you've never seen before, but it's information that is obviously covered in the AICPA blueprints, then you're going to get thrown for a loop and then test, test anxiety comes in and then bad things happen. So instead of focusing so much on just getting questions right, please focus on actually understanding why you're getting each question right or wrong so that you can dynamically apply that information to the real thing. Okay. What else? So uh, one of the other missing features right now, and this is going to be updated in the future, is that when uh, UWorld took over Roger CPA Review, they um, ended up removing the mock exam feature, but that, as I have confirmed, is coming back. So um, it's something that it's so important to pass in the CPA exam, and I think it was just something to do with you know, transferring everything over to a new platform and so forth. So um, if you're watching this and they still don't have the mock exam, please, a few days before your next exam, please recreate the real exam experience. It's so crucial. Um, if you don't focus on time management and so forth, um, it's something that can really throw you for a loop when you're in the real situation. So, um, you know, Olympians, they train and train and train for the real thing. So if you're not training and training and training for the real um, Prometric Center experience, then you can, you're can you just setting yourself up for a bad experience. So please, um, and, it, and again, it's really easy. Just create tests, create simulation testlets um, that will match the real thing. So not a big deal there, but it's just, one of those features that um, got removed temporarily and should be coming back soon. Um, let's see here. So, so we've gone over, oh, let's actually dive into, so again, the, there's a note database. So all your notes will be housed here. And um, then flashcards, again, so there's the deck that you've made and then the Roger deck. And something again that I don't know if I necessarily mentioned, um, in college, it's very easy to create all of your own study materials. But with the CPA exam, when you have this much information in front of you, it's extremely difficult to not only go through all the video lectures, read the text, and make your own flashcards and notes and so forth. So you need to be very smart in how you do it. And so that's why I kind of walked you through the process that I teach to my mentees, where you know you utilize the videos and the text and then only make targeted flashcards. So only when you need them and come across something you don't get. So the reason that I don't recommend making all your own flashcards is because Roger did that for you. So they know the key points that you need to know. They've already made these flashcards for you. So use them as a review tool um, as you're going through all the material. Because again, one of the hardest things and something that I teach to my mentees in Ultimate CPA Exam Guide is that, you know, there's a lot of information here, obviously. So you've got tons and tons of subunits. So how do you keep what um, you learn in odd one as fresh as what you learn in odd nine at the very end and just keep everything in focus? And that's really what I teach in Ultimate CPA Exam Guide is exactly how to do that. And that's something that no CPA review course is very good at doing. So I've really cracked the code on how I'm teaching people how to actually study, how to be efficient, how to take notes the right way, how to answer questions the right way and a whole lot more. And um, I've had great success with my students who use Roger CPA review who do this. Um, let's see. So then, oh, the cram course. Again, this is something that they basically have if you're in the Elite Unlimited uh, bundle package. Um, so basically, this is just a high level video review over everything that you need to know for your next exam. Um, it's not a primary learning tool, it's more of a high level review. So, this is something you would watch in the final couple weeks before you sit for your exam as you're doing the final review process. All right, so overall, Roger CPA Review is a course that I see 
getting results for my mentees in my mentorship program, Ultimate CPA Exam Guide. So it is absolutely a program that I recommend. Obviously, there was a few weaknesses that we went over, but again, this course is constantly evolving, it's constantly improving, and I'm actually working with them to provide recommendations for what I'm seeing working um, with other CPA review courses and so forth. So that's what basically what I do with all the different CPA review course companies is being like, hey, I think you should improve this and this and this because this is what I'm actually seeing working in real time. Um, so overall, what do I like? Well, the Roger textbook, I think it does a great job of teaching you the AI CPA blueprints. Um, I love Roger Phillip as a lecturer. I think that this is something that is very difficult to replicate. So when you have very dry information, you know, accounting, you can't get any more dry than that. When you have somebody who is engaging and lively and has energy, it's infectious and you, it, it really makes the learning experience fun. And when there's so much information, it's really crucial to stay focused and motivated. Um, another thing that I absolutely love is the mobile app capability. So being able to study anywhere is crucial because you never know when you're going to have 15 minutes where you can just pop in and take a quick practice quiz and then do a little bit of research into uh, the 10 questions or whatever it was that you might have just answered. So um, being able to access the lectures offline, uh, just access to the program anywhere in your pocket is invaluable and something that I wish I would have had when I was studying for the CPA exam would have made my life a whole lot easier. Um, so I really like the QBank. I think that the, the strength of the QBank is definitely going to be the fact that each question is tied to a lecture and a page number in the, your textbook. So that is very valuable um, research, uh, a, a very valuable research tool at your disposal. I do think that, you know, in the future, I really hope that they allow you to um, dig a little bit deeper into the subunits of each chapter instead of just saying, all right, here's a chapter with, you know, 10 subunits, you'll just take a quiz over all of them all at the same time. So I think that's, it's a, to me, it's a little bit frustrating not to be able to go at the granular level. But again, because you can do individualized research for each question, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So basically you'll just go through and watch all the lectures in a chapter and then be able to take a practice quiz over that entire chapter and then start doing your research there. So it's not the end of the world, just something that I see other CPA review courses doing just a little bit better. Um, let's see here. So then in terms of um, the test bank setup, I really love the flashcards being built into the test bank itself. That is really cool being able to take um, an explanation, turn that automatically into a flashcard is really something I've never seen before. I love how everything is searchable within this platform. So you can go and just search for a keyword within the flashcard database, um, search, uh, and then just the general search um, as well. Um, the ability to mark questions and then send them over to support all within the platform itself is really cool as well. Um, but uh, again, one of the missing features that I kind of is a head scratcher is that they don't have a mock exam. But again, the Roger team, they assured me that it's coming back. So just be aware that it's not there just yet, but at the time of watching it may be back in the platform. And again, it's probably one of those things where it's like a new company came in and they're trying to figure out how to port everything over into their platform and so forth. So overall, I'm a big fan of Roger CPA review. I don't think that the weaknesses that I shared are by any means a reason not to invest in Roger CPA review. I do think that they are one of the best courses out there, if not the best, um, in terms of helping people pass the CPA exam. And again, I've got evidence of this by the fact that I personally mentor CPA candidates um, in my program, Ultimate CPA Exam Guide. So I'm seeing in real time, people getting results with this program. Um, so yeah, so with that being said, if you are interested in Roger CPA review, I do have a big discount. I also bundle my mentorship program with Roger CPA review. So with the elite unlimited and from time to time, we have a special promotion going on that. So I'll be sure to include a link in the video description for that as well. So I am one of the trusted mentors for Roger CPA review, uh, students. And, uh, yeah, so I think that about covers everything that I want to discuss about Roger CPA review. If you have any questions, go ahead leave them in the comment section of this video. I'll be able to personally respond to you um, with my thoughts. And um, yeah, with that being said, I think I've covered just about everything that I wanna to cover today. So I'll let you get back to it. So happy studies. If you have any questions, let me know and I'd love to personally help you pass the CPA exam.